Hello everyone and welcome to The Ranch of Rivershine. The game has just been released in early access on Steam, which is super exciting. I've been playing through the demo. Um, I didn't end up posting all of the demo because I ran out of time, but I ended up finishing it um, off camera and I had so much fun. And now uh, the early access version of the game has been released and the creator, Elise, was kind enough to give me a Steam key for the game, which I'm so thankful for. So, um, before we get into the game, I'm actually just going to turn the sound down slightly. Yeah, okay. And now let's start a new game! This is so exciting. Alright, so, character customization. Oh, I never noticed that the body type thing also changes the face shape, but that's cool. Um, I think I'll stick with this skin tone. Eye colour... I quite like dark eyes. I think I'll stick with those. The eyebrows, let's turn. There we go. Hmm. I like those. Hairstyle, I'm very partial to the plaits. Um, I think that it's just the cutest. And... Hmm. I think I like this one. That's really cute. Okay. Shirt. Uh, we'll go with the blue shirt. I think that contrasts nicely with the hair. And, oh, we can have overalls. But I think I want to have pants. We'll go with the black pants and black boots. Okay, and my name is Misty, and I can't remember if I capitalized the M. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get started. I'm very excited. Okay, here we go. We are back in the beautiful town of Rivershine. Look at the mountains or oh, hills, hilly mountains in the distance. Oh my gosh, look at this waterfall. Everything is just so beautiful. Like, oh, I want to be here. <laughs> I wish I could live in this town. Explore the town and find Madeline Bowcamp who invited you to Rivershine. She's right over here. I remember this from the demo. Hi. <laughs> Oh, Misty, I'm so pleased to see you here. Please allow me to extend to you a warm welcome to Rivershine. We've all been eagerly awaiting, uh, anticipating your arrival, Misty. The entire town has been working diligently to restore the ranch for you. Well, everyone who remains at any rate. The past few years have been quite a challenge for our community, to say the least. However, now that you're here and we have our very own champion to represent Rivershine once again, I'm confident that better days lie ahead. Of course, you're not yet a champion, Misty, especially since you arrived here on foot. Fortunately, I've arranged for horse traders to participate in a grand opening of the auction house today. While we don't currently have many horses available, I'm sure that I'll be able to offer you a greater variety in the future. Now, it's understandable if the prospect of participating in your first horse auction is intimidating. Allow me to explain the process. As I present each horse to you, you may either pass or place a bid on it. Feel free to pass on any horses that don't interest you, but once you do, someone else will purchase it. If you see a horse that catches your eye, be sure to bid on it. It may take a few rounds to win it, but don't worry, if you truly want a horse, and have the funds for it. I'm confident you'll be able to obtain it. If I may offer you some advice on choosing your first horse, of course you should choose a horse with a coat that you like, but also consider their skill levels. Their jump, speed, endurance, and flexibility will all impact their performance. All these skills can be improved based on a horse's potential. Therefore, if you plan to train your horse, it might be best to purchase one with a high potential, even if their other skills are currently lacking. Yeah, that's where I messed up in the demo. I bought a horse with like a very small amount of potential, so this time I really want to go for a horse with lots of potential. Don't worry too much about their name either. You can change that later. I'm thrilled to see which horse you would choose, Misty. I'll see you in the auction house when you're ready. I love the auction house. I think it's so much better than having a horse creator because, you know, in real life, you don't create a horse, you choose a horse. And I think that just makes it so much more special, like choosing a horse rather than creating a horse and it makes it more realistic. Okay, um, so I think I'd like a stallion this time since I had mares in the demo and I want one with lots of potential and I want one with a longer mane and tail. I don't like the short mane and tail, so we're going to pass on this guy. Ooh, a cold wildfire. Oh, kind of looks like ocean. 53% potential, not much endurance or speed. I think I'd like one that has at least 50 potential, um, so that I can really train it up a lot. 
Okay, let's see what else there is. And uh, this first auction is limitless, so I could just keep scrolling forever and ever until I find a horse that I really like. Oh, this is a cute mare, but I don't, don't want a mare this time. I really want to start with a stallion. Oh, Guide Cricket. Oh, that's a cute name. 46% potential, very little speed, very little flexibility. We'll keep going. Little Liberty, oh, that's a cute name. She kind of reminds me of Sugar from my um, demo Let's Play. Chief Sunshine, Little Bay. We'll keep going, because I really want a stallion, not a mare. Ooh, Blue Blaze. Ooh, he's interesting. 55% potential. I'm not sure I really like his face marking though. His stats will look pretty good though. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I'm not the biggest fan of that face marking. Capital Fury. Oh, another black one. Oh, he's cute. 57% potential. Mm, not feeling it though. I do, I do quite like the, maybe I should get a black one. Oh, here's a mare. No thanks. Water ocean. Oh, reminds me of ocean. Oh, pretty black mare. But wanting a stallion, really. First sprout, healthy adult stallion. Uh, not enough potential. I do like the bay colour, though. Lonely bee, another mare. I think I'd like to get a black stallion. <laughs> I just didn't like, oh, black spirit. And it's not black, <laughs> come on. Oh, he's cute, but the short mane and tail, 58% potential. Probably would have gotten him if he had a longer mane and tail. Sunny, maple, okay, definitely, definitely not enough potential. I really want to get lots of potential so I can really train them up. Cardinal nutmeg. Ooh, little bay, 55. Ah. Uh, Nah, not feeling it. Cardinal Ranger. Ooh, those stats look good. Ooh, 54. Decent stats. Ooh, do I want this guy? Or should I wait around for a black one? Oh, this is difficult. Should I get a bay one or a black one? I kind of like him, but... At the same time, I kind of want a black horse. Oh no. <laughs> Why is this so difficult to decide? I really do like him though. Uh, oh, and he's got a cute little pink nose. And I am partial to bays. Mm, what do I do? I'm gonna pass. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to pass. Hopefully I won't regret that. Okay, I've been scrolling for a very long time to try and find uh, the horse I want. And I think this guy is it. He's all black. He's a stallion. All black. Beautiful long mane and tail. 54% um, potential. He's lacking in the flexibility. I really wanted to try and get at least 10 in all the stats. And he has that in the rest of them, just not flexibility. Um, but he has 54% potential and he's an all black stallion. I don't think I can pass on this guy. I don't think I'm going to find better than this guy. So, oh, no, oh my gosh, I nearly clicked pass. Um, no, we're going to bid. Yay, we got him! <laughs> ah, your horse is a lovely choice, Misty. I have no doubt that you will make a formidable pair. Now that you've acquired a horse, I recommend you visiting our trainer, River. I have informed her that you will be arriving and she's prepared a lesson for you. You'll find River in the outdoor arena just down the hill from the auction house. Oh, and don't forget to lead your horse with you to the arena, Misty. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I spent so much time going through the different horses at the auction. And now we have this boy. His current name is Little Mountain. I'm not going to keep his name as Little Mountain. We're going to change his name. 
oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. Look at him. He's completely black. Zero white markings. I love him. Uh, what? Family tree? Oh, yeah, because we can breed now. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. So I was thinking it'd be really fun because I love collecting crystals. I was thinking it'd be really fun to name all my horses after crystals. So since this boy is completely black, I'm going to name him Obsidian. I have an Obsidian Rain in Star Stable who's also black. And now I have Obsidian here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, I wish that flexibility was higher. But we've got at least 50% potential so we can train him. Okay, let's go back. Your name is now Obsidian. And, um... Okay, now let's lead you. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful! Oh my gosh, I can't handle it. Oh, oh no, I want to go this way. Okay, come on. We're gonna go meet River. <laughs> His cat is a bit funny when I'm leading him. I guess because he's kind of like... It's an awkward speed for him to go at. <laughs> See me leading my horse. <laughs> Look at him, he's kind of hopping along. I guess because his canter is actually a lot faster than I can walk. Oh, here she is. All right. Hi, River. Well, well, if it isn't Rivershine's next cross country champion. Nice to meet you, Misty. And who do we have here? Did she disappear? I can't see her anymore. Obsidian, I'm sure you'll go far together. I'm River. I usually work with Madeline to help her find and train horses for the auction house, but she asked me to take some time today to prepare a lesson for you and get you acquainted with your new partner. Now let's get you riding. It'll be easier to explain once you're on Obsidian. Just stand next to your horse and mount it when you're ready. Okay. Okay, let's zoom in. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. I can't get over how pretty he is. Look at those eyes. Okay, let's release. And now let's mount him. <laughs> okay. Um, press for W to start walking forward. So we're having our very first ride. Press W again to squeeze your legs and go at a faster gait. I love how she, like, the character actually squeezes their legs. That's so cool. Um, slow down by tapping S or hold it down to brake quickly. Let's hold it down. There we go. That was a good start, Misty. Take it easy with the gallop, as your horse doesn't have a lot of endurance just yet. It's always better to slow down to a canter before your horse fully runs out of energy. But I know how fun it is to go at full speed. Now let's see if we can take a better look at Obsidian. Press left alt to change your view to free camera. Yep, I definitely prefer the free camera. And look, now we can see us riding Obsidian. Oh, I can't get over how beautiful he is. Isn't he stunning? And A and D to control the reins while moving the camera. There we go. Oh, he's beautiful. We can trot on him. Do a little canter. Oh, he's gorgeous. My handsome boy. And let's do a quick stop. They slide. It's so cool. Press Alt again to recenter your camera view. There we go. And then it puts us back to that camera. And oops. Now that you've learned the basics, I'll add a few jumps in the arena. Don't worry, I'll keep the obstacles small for now. To help Obsidian jump well, speed up to a trot or faster. Make sure your horse faces the obstacle straight on, and when you're close enough, jump it. Remember that it's easier to prepare for obstacles correctly when you're approaching it slowly, so if Obsidian refuses a jump, make sure you take your time when you try again. Alright, let's give it a try, yeah! I love the fact that, um, oops, I need to free my camera again. I love the fact that in this game we can jump from a trot because a lot of horse games don't let you do that. But in this we can. Let's jump! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Nice jump, Misty. If you pay to close attention after crossing an obstacle, you'll see that your horse is improving their jump skill. You can train your horse in multiple disciplines such as jump, endurance, speed, or flexibility when you ride them. However, your horse will lose energy as you train them, and once they run out of energy, they can't be trained any further until they rest. Feel free to practice on the other Cavalettis in the arena, and when you're done training, come just come see me. Okay, so I think the most important thing to train, oops, uh, to train Obsidian in will be, for the moment at least, will be flexibility, because that's where he's really lacking. Um, so it's good that being able to take these tight turns will help with his flexibility. See if we can get a cool picture. <laughs> Is there another jump after this? Yep. 
Alright, and um, I guess we'll talk to River now. Great training session, Misty. I've already set up a beginner obstacle course on your ranch, so if you want to train again, you can also always do so in your arena or right here in town. We still have a lot to chat about, but I'm sure you're very excited to get settled on your ranch with Obsidian. Before you leave town, make sure to stop by the general store. I bet George has a little care package to help you get started. There might even be a carrot or two for Obsidian in there. Talk to you soon, Misty. Thank you, River. Alrighty, so visit the grocer at the general store to get your care package for your horse. I can't get over how beautiful he is. He's just, he's so beautiful. Okay. Oh, look, and there's some horses in here. I think they're the same ones I saw last time in the demo. Little Bay and Little Blue Roan. Oh, and there's something to pick up here. Is it a carrot or an apple? It's a carrot. Oh, what do you mean there's no space? Do we need to back up a bit? What? Back a bit more? Um, what if we come over here? Now can I just not? There we go. You stay there, Obsidian. I'm getting a carrot for you. Alright. Let's head on over to the grocer. I kind of think I want to trot for a little while. Um, just as we train up his flexibility a little bit more. Um, so that I don't end up, um... What's it called? So I don't end up using all of his skills on like things like speed. I think I want to get his flexibility to at least 10 and then we'll focus on some other traits and I want to collect this as well. All right. Come on, Obsidian. Oh, he's so beautiful. I really like Obsidian, the crystal. Oops, I was meant to be trotting. And I noticed in the demo, um, a friend pointed out this out to me, that you can actually ride your horse into the stores. I want to see if that's the case. Yep, we can ride him into the store. Oh, look, and there's another person here. Don't mind me just bringing my horse into the store. It's fine. <laughs> can I turn around so we can... Picture of me and my pony in the store. Okay, who's this? Oh, oh, okay. Welcome in, Misty. I'm sure you've had a long day, so I can't, won't keep you long. I prepared a little care package to help you get settled on your ranch. It includes a few tools for you, but most importantly, some hay, grain, and bedding for obsidian. It should be enough to last a few days. After that, you'll be able to gather more forage around your ranch, or come by my store to, if you're missing something to care for your horse. Thank you! I have a little bit of everything in my store, but nothing too fancy. You'd usually be able to visit my neighbor's stores as well, uh, too, but they've all closed down due to the lack of visitors. Oh no! Hopefully now that you're bringing attention back to Rivershine, they'll settle in town again. Now you should get home and bring Obsidian in the stables to take care of them after this eventful day. I wish you both a good evening. Oh, that other person's leaving. Okay, thank you. Explore your new ranch for the first time. Are you ready, Obsidian? Let's go. Sorry for bringing my horse in. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, saddlery. Oh, there's a person walking around. Okay, let's focus on um, bringing obsidian to the ranch. Oh look, there's little sheepies. I wonder if I can get like little sheepies on my ranch. There's some more straw there. But I think we really need that because I think that we got some. Like I think, um, cause George said he gave us some bedding. Here we go, River, uh, Rivershine Ranch. Oh, I'm so excited to be back on the ranch. Okay, here we go. We're here, we're home obsidian. What do you think? Ooh, okay, so I can already see some changes. Oh, wow, look, the paddocks are different. It's like, the paddocks, are, this paddock's like kind of broken? The stone wall there is cool. It looks like it, oh, so do I, I think I need to repair the paddocks. Oh, what's that? Okay, so already I'm seeing some things that were different to the demo, which is exciting me. Let's, oh, look, there's broken fences there. Interesting, so it looks like we're going to have to repair things. Oh, here's a carrot again. I love the fact that you can um, forage around the world for materials. I really enjoy that. It's very um, relaxing. Ooh, I think my paddock has seen better days. Okay, and I just want to check. Sometimes under this tree there are apples, but I don't think there are any today. Wow. Okay. So here is my stable. Oh, whoa, I only have two stalls. In the demo, I had four, but oh, look, these aren't 
These aren't um available. Interesting. Oh wow, so we definitely need to do some repairs on this place. Okay, Obsidian. Look at him in his stall. Oh, he's so precious. Okay, let's um press F to learn more about your horse and take care of them. Hay can be given once a day. Each type of hay will give your horse a different amount of satiety. Horses left in the pasture overnight don't need to be he fed hay, okay? Um, oh, we have some Timothy hay and some orchard grass. Let's give them the Timothy hay because that's better. Grain can be given once a day, but it's not necessary. Grain can either satiate your horse or be used to boost their training for a day. Each type of grain impacts a different training discipline. All right, did we get any grain? We got some oats. Common grain used to supplement your horse's feed. 75% satiety. I guess we can give him some oats. Treats can be given once a day and should usually be given midday to regenerate your horse's energy. Energy is used to train and participate in competitions. Okay. Um, do we need to give him a treat? I guess we should because he's very low energy. Um, let's give him an apple. There we go. Brush your horses needed in the morning and during the day to keep them clean and increase their trust in you. If your horse is left dirty for too long, they, be, they risk becoming unhealthy. Avoid brushing their head. Okay, let's brush him with an old brush, worn out brush that will slowly but surely clean up your horse. All right, let's give you a brush. Oh, he's already pretty clean. Okay, muck. Clean your horse's stall when they're left in the stables overnight. You can also place down straw to keep your horse comfortable indoors. All right. Wood shaving. Okay, so we have seven straw. There we go. Equipment. Change up your horse's blanket, saddle, and bridle in the stable. The equipment won't impact your horse's performance. To ride your horse tackless, you can remove each piece of equipment. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Ooh, his energy has gone up now. K is 100%. Did we get any... F oh, we already got some flexibility points. So he's now up to nine. That was fast. Because he was down at five before. Unless I misread it. I'm pretty sure it said five. Um, pasture. Keep each of your horses either in the stable or in the pasture. Horses kept in the stable will have more energy the next day, but need to be cared for. Horses kept in the pasture need to be fed or cleaned daily. Okay, let's send him to the pasture, I guess. Oh, and he's still wearing his tack. Okay. Um, now what? Should we go back? Oh, okay. Visit your new home and go to bed for the night and save your progress. Okay, so I can't see the time of day, which maybe that's just not going to show up just yet. In the demo, it was there. This is interesting, only having two stalls. Let's go have a look at the pasture. Oh, look. Oh, and this is different. Oh, so I think this is space for me to build. Yeah. This is new. I wonder what, why this area here has got stones. Oh, and look at the broken fences. Oh, dear. I hope there's no, like... Um, old nails or anything out here. Hi, Obsidian! Hi, handsome! Oh, he's so pretty. I want to have a look around the stable. Okay, uh, not the stable, the, um, the pasture. Okay. So, we got broken paddock fences. Oh, I can just... Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, he can't escape out of his paddock. Oh, there's something over here to collect. An apple! Yay! These are really good treats. Um, so we've got a pasture there with, um, a broken shelter. There isn't a shelter in this paddock, but I guess they could always just go into the, um, into the barn if they wanted to. I think it'd be cool if a shelter was added to this paddock though, because I think it's the only one without a shelter. And then we have this little paddock over here. Oh, the fertility pasture. You'll need to prepare the fertility pasture first. Ooh, I think that's for breeding. And then there's this little pasture with like a river going through it. Oh, this is exciting. I guess he just has this one pasture to begin with. Hi. Oh, he's so pretty. Hmm, should we go to sleep or maybe do I want to train him a bit for us? I think I want to ride him around a little bit more first. And, ooh. What if we, um... If we go back into the stable, what if we 
ride him bareback. Maybe not completely tactless, but let's try riding him bareback. That could be fun. Okay, and now mount. Oh, it's fun. Although we're kind of floating. Yeah, that looks kind of strange because we're floating above him because we don't have a saddle. Um, I guess we'll put, whoops, we'll put the saddle back on. Um, here we go. And an old western saddle. Can't wait to like get him some different gear. Um, let's go up to the arena. Looks like this is our arena. Or like, I just kind of want to explore really. So this is the arena, no broken fences here. Okay. Gotcha. We can work on our, I thought that said fertility, it's flexibility. Let's just explore our ranch for a little while. You can canter for a bit, get some speed boosts. Little bridge here. Ooh. Oh, so here's our round pen, which is also broken and in need of repair. I see. Although these bushes could be kind of fun to weave in and out of to improve our flexibility. Oh, and look over there. So in the demo, there was an indoor arena here. But I guess now we have to, um, whoop. We have to build an indoor arena now. This is cool. I love the fact that, like, we're going to have to build and put things together. This still looks pretty cool though. Oh, and there's a collectible right here. This still looks really cool though. Oh, okay. Oh, that was interesting. Can I still ride in here even though it's broken? Yeah. I think it's just fun to like ride in amongst the bushes. Interesting. Oh, this is a cool, I can't wait to build up the ranch and see it improve. Let's canter for a bit. And look at the beautiful river that just winds around the place. I kind of just want to explore everything there is to see in our new ranch. Oh, there's some more straw and I th is this the orchard grass or is this the timothy hay? This is orchard grass. So I don't really like feeding the orchard grass because it only gives them 25% satiety. But I can sell it to George, which um, gives me money. The crops themselves don't sell for a ton of money. Oh, there's a... a, um, a a bridge here that goes somewhere. Where does this go? What does that say? Pine forest? I'm guessing we can't go there yet. No, you can't go further. Oh dear. Oh dear. We need back up. <laughs> okay. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's cool seeing things that are different um, to the demo. If you haven't watched um, the Let's Play of the Dynamo, definitely go check it out. Um, I think there's like five or six episodes or maybe more than that even. Oh, and look, there's my house over there. I think. I'm pretty sure that's my house. Unless it's some random person's house who happens to be living on my land. I wonder what the story is behind the ranch. Like, did I inherit this? Why am I here? I'm guessing I inherited the ranch from someone. <gasps> look, there's a waterfall! Ooh, and there's like an interesting little spot over here for something. Cute little bridges. Oh, I love it. And look at the mountains in the distance. And over here, I'm pretty sure is for farming. Can I do anything with it right now? <gasps> plant! Oh, <gasps> I have orchard grass seeds I could plant! A quickly sprouting bag of seeds that produces a fair amount of orchard grass. Um, can we plant it now? Oh my gosh, we, so we just planted some crops. Okay. That's cool. I, I didn't realize I could plant crops immediately. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I have some orchard grass growing. I'm not gonna feed him the orchard grass, but um, once it grows, I can sell it. <laughs> so that'll be good. Oh, and there's another trail over there, but I'm guessing I also can't go there. So there's two trails. Two trail places leading from my ranch that I could go to. Okay, let's put you away, um, Obsidian. I'm gonna leave him in the sta- oops, in the stable so that he has plenty of energy tomorrow. Does he need any care? Like, does he need a brush? Nah, he's pretty clean. Um, oh. 
Okay, it's still doing the tutorial thing. Okay. I think we're good with the tutorial now. Restful night, visit your new home, and go to sleep for the night and save your progress. Okay, oops, no, this is not the way. Um, but there is a gate over here. <laughs> Wrong way. I meant to go to my house, not into the paddock. Let's come out through here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to like, oh, I love this game <laughs> so much. Um, you guys, if you're interested in it, you should definitely go check it out. There is a 10% discount at the moment until the 20th um, of, what month is it? Is it May? It's still May, isn't it? Yeah, until the 20th of May, there will be a 10% discount um, for the launch. So definitely go get the game now. Look at my little house and my, oh, my room. Can I sit on the couch? Oh, oh. That's cute, cute little detail that I can actually use. Can I? Oh, there we go. I was like, how do I get up? I've got a little fireplace. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let's sleep. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.